guys. I, uh, the past 10 days or so, I've been busy working on the shop. The, uh, there used to be a walk-in door over here, and then a big 12, 14, 12 foot wide and 14 foot tall uh, overhead door. Took those out and walled it up, put in a 48 inch door uh, on the front to as a walk-in, and uh, the, well before long we'll put siding, do siding on the front to cover up the fact that there's OSB on part of it and T111 on the rest of it. Uh, but I got it painted all the same color. But in the process of doing that, I decided to rearrange the shop. And the inside of the shop is a mess. However, I thought I would share with you the progress on it. So, uh, give me a second, we'll get in there. They even put me a nice little uh, set of blocks out here so I can walk up to my thing without stepping in mud. But, like I said, the inside is a disaster. I built a new chop saw station over here. Moved the uh, storage bins from that wall over here. Moved that tool caddy from that wall by the stairs to over there. And then I moved some stuff from the back wall to this wall. And on the back wall, you'll see a nice big open space. Well, let's see if you can see that black outline. That is going to be a back door so that I can actually uh, get air in the shop. And I'm planning to put a dog door in it so the dogs can actually uh, go in and out of the shop when they want. So today's video is going to be me opening up a hole in the back of the shop because it's in the 50s today and it's what, uh, mid-November. And that's not highly unusual, but it uh, is a little bit on the rare side. So I should be able to get the door opened up without freezing my butt off while I've got it open to get the new door in. So, alright, let's make a door. There's one layer. Now I've just got to uh, get through the pegboard and then the T111. So like this uh, building before uh, the previous homeowner put this uh, uh, half inch OSB up and painted it, they had a uh, pegboard up here and this was a uh, mechanic shop for uh, big diesel trucks and heavy equipment and stuff. And, uh, so I inherited it and got plants growing up the wall, inside the wall. Ow! Oh, that's a thorny bastard too. Pardon my French. Well, okay, it wasn't French, but still. Uh, but anyway, so he had tool uh, pegboards all over the place before they put the OSB on the inside. My understanding is they were uh, doing a birthday party and decided to put the OSB up in here and use this to do the birthday party for a... 12 year old or 16 year old or something anyway. So anyway, next thing's next.
pegboards. For my pegboard. A bunch of them I can't even reach in there. Just like that, there's an opening. Not only that, but look who found us. <laughs> Hi guys. You figure that's your door? They figure it's their door. <laughs> so I've decided I'm gonna fill this in with two by six and let the door sit on this. That keeps it up off the ground. I have less chance of it rotting at the bottom. And then, but that means I've got to bump up three and a half up at the top to get my 82 inches from our rough opening. And then also I've already come in and cut these back uh, so that I can put a two by six in here. The two by six will hit, I hope you can see this, but the two by six will hit these two eyes and I'll screw it on and then I can screw this into it. And that'll give me my framing for the uh, jam to sit in. And then I'll just fill these in with two by by sliding it in there and nailing it off or whatever. Uh, but first I've got to bump up the top just a bit. And then I can uh, 
stick the frame in there, or the frame, the uh, rough opening frame in there, and then onto the jam. So the jam's all mounted on the hinge side and then the top is just at that one corner at the top of the hinge side. Now the rest of it is loose yet except for one screw which is not in all the way and that's uh, because right now that's level and I want to hold it there. But next I'll mount the door make sure it's closing in the right spot then if I need to I can adjust this in and out to make sure that everything fits right. So. Let me uh, go get the door. I'm going to have to recut the hinges on it. But other than that, uh, I will soon have a back door to my shop. <clears throat> Getting close to hanging the door up here. Right now what I'm doing is uh, making sure that this stays level. Right now it's level. But it's only held out here, so I need to keep this from moving. You can see it flexes. This is where the shims and I took out one screw in each hinge and put it in a three inch screw. Now I'll shim it and tighten that screw down and this should keep it from moving. First we gotta get the shims in there. There we go. Inside will uh, flex and let the doors flop around.
put a different doorknob on because I've got one that matches the key on the front. So uh, this one, besides this door used to be hung the other way. So that was inside, this was outside. Uh, that's all gotta be changed around. So let me go find my doorknob. Get the outside of the door screwed on down to the building and get everything situated and we should be good to go. And so there you have it. My new back door to the shop. So now the dogs can go in and out. And this was actually all enclosed as part of their pen back here. So that's one of the reasons I did it. The other is that my tiny house will be right about where you're sitting or where the camera is sitting. Uh, so I'll be able to go from my tiny house straight into my shop and back. My commute to work will be very short. But anyway, have a good one guys. Oh, I've got two new chainsaws on the way. We're going to be doing unboxings and reviews of those. And then uh, possibly a third one uh, a little later on. But uh, be looking forward to those. So yeah, we're still doing chainsaw stuff, but remember I'm a DIY guy. I just like to do things on the cheap. Uh, this was free. Uh, this is the door from the front of the shop originally. And I had to pay for the green uh, two by sixes. Outside of that, I spent 20 bucks putting a door in the shop. Not too bad. I did not build this shop. So it was already here. I'm just having to deal with the stuff they did. You saw that I got into some fun stuff doing this. But anyway, chainsaws soon. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching.